Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 21 on ABAP. So the same video number is already available in my ABAP playlist. Uh, it, ha it has about, it explains about the field symbols. And now I plan to explain the data references uh, on a particular video. Then I decided uh, let's have together both field symbol and data re reference in a single video. So that is, that is the reason I just go with the same video number video 21 and is going to be the updated version of the existing video number 21 here also i'm going to explain the field symbols with uh, all the properties of it as well as the data reference then we'll see the each one's properties then they are, depends on your need we can choose uh, whether you need a field symbols or a data reference for your requirement okay let's get into the slide first so first thing is, what is the need of, uh, actual need of field symbols and data references, okay? So both are working mostly in the runtime environment, uh, meaning uh, till runtime, we are not aware what is the data medium of uh, the particular data. It could be a variable or work area or internal table. And more than that, what is the properties of the data medium like it's a character variable or an integer variable or the work array is going to be uh, the structure of five fields or ten fields or directly related to sales or a header or sales or item so we are not aware until the runtime in that kind of scenarios definitely we need a field symbols or a data reference concept okay uh, compile time means it's very simple for us before uh, activating it we can uh, create how many data medium you want you can create it you can play around with that but sometimes what happens dynamically we need to populate some values some uh, design in that case definitely we need the help of field symbols or data reference and along with that we are not only uh, using this for uh, handling the runtime workaround but we are going to use this to improve the performance of our program normally if you want to do any performance measure immediately we just think about field symbols to avoid keeping the modify and delete statement between loop and end loop okay so that also we are going to use field symbols let's see uh, let's get into that and we'll we'll just try to understand the properties of field symbols and data references okay and we'll verify the uh, the product documentation as well what actually they are saying uh, saying about this field symbol and data references okay let's get into one by one so field symbol so field symbols from my perspective is going to be the copy of your data medium it could be anything variable or work area or internet whatever it is okay so it, it going to the copy of any data medium and is going to be communicate with the content of your field symbol so that is the major uh, property or major the way how the field symbol works okay so it creates a copy of the data medium and it's going to communicate with the uh, content of your data medium so before that field symbol can be declared without referring any data object or without referring any source simply you can declare field symbol field symbol name dot so there is no integer there is no character no structure no table type okay nothing else you can do just declare a field symbol fs yes that works okay and based on the assignment of a data medium it in runtime it recognize okay this field symbol is going to hold the integer variable so the data type of this field symbol on this line is integer and very next line i'm changing my assignment to a character variable and immediately it's change the property of the field symbol is character from integer and numeric and date even though not only for the data type immediately if you assign a work area it yes it's ready to accept work area as the property of the field symbol very next line uh, the same field symbol i'm going to assign an internal table body of an internal table yes it's ready to accept the body of the internal table so that is a flexibility of field symbol whatever you want to assign at that particular line runtime it's ready to change the property of the particular field symbols okay so my first example is like that only one field symbol i'm going to assign a value i'm going to assign a work area i'm going to assign a body of an internal table we'll see how it's getting reflected in the debugging session okay so field symbol is just a copy of your data medium and it's going to be communicate with the content of your data medium okay so this is a variable this is a field symbol this is the value of this variable 
So both are pointing or both are holding the same value. So if you change the value of a field symbol, automatically it reflects in the material number also. Meaning, if I change in the first line and the third line, you're going to access the value of the material number. Whatever you have changed, it reflects here. Okay. And the same way, if you change the value of a variable, automatically it reflects in your field symbol because both are pointing to the or both are holding the same content of the data medium. Okay. Then technically or from the product perspective, what they are saying about field symbol is value semantics. Okay. It's mostly they are, uh, interact with values, content of your data medium. Data reference is nothing but data reference is going to be point your data medium. Okay. Medium could be a character, uh, variable work area or body of internet, whatever it is, it's going to point out to the data medium. Okay. So what is data reference is nothing but uh, that is also a variable, but technically we call it as data reference. A variable is declared with the help of type ref to keywords. Then we call it as that particular variable is nothing but data reference variable. Not, nothing much okay and so what they are saying is uh, technically they, they call it as reference semantics okay um we'll see a little detail about that data content of the data reference okay not in this uh, slide probably after two or three slides so now this is a very uh, very one single line about field symbols and data references okay so let's get into the field symbols first So this is this is the one which uh, I was talking about a uh, variable value and work area and table type. But I have only one field symbol. It doesn't re uh, reflect any uh, source type is nothing. It's an open field symbol. And the, this line, this field symbol property is a variable. This symbol uh, field symbol, the same field symbol property as work area and last line the fail symbol property is body of table so it's able to adapt any kind of structure of the runtime okay this is very very simple to understand and then um if you want to mention define the type of my field symbol i have to mention it yes it's available with the help of a keyword called type source okay so type source is nothing but character vbak vbap or table type whatever it is you can mention over here and then uh, how to check whether your field symbol is assigned why you have to check suppose you have a field symbol that is not assigned with any data medium and you're trying to read it then it goes to dump because if you want to read anything my field symbol in the, from the field symbol perspective it should be pointed to any of the data content okay it, it, it may be a variable or career or body of level. it has to point out to any of the content or it just hold the data content of in your data medium if it is not definitely it goes to dump okay so that is the reason we have to make sure before reading the field symbol you have to mention or you have to just write a if condition if field symbol is assigned if is yes, do write or read to the particular field symbol if not it goes to dump okay and then so this is a way it's 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 look like it's for an easy understanding data medium and field symbol both are pointing to the uh, content of your variable or content of your data medium so here you can say value here is a record here it's a records actually more than one record so it's both are same so if there is any change happens here that is also reflects if any change happens here that is also reflects okay loop uh loop at an end loop we can use a keyword called assigning to assign the particular record depends on the wire condition if if anything otherwise record by record is going to be hold in this particular field symbols okay uh, technically both are pointing to the same record so if any change happens to the particular record it's automatically updating in your internal table actually we can't use the statement called updating because both are pointing to the same data content so if it is changed and whenever you are reading automatically it's get the latest or updated information so it's not like updating because updating is applicable for from work area to body of an internal table so here we are not doing updating from field symbol to body of internal table both or both mediums are pointing to the same data content that is the reason whenever there is a change it's updating means the latest record is getting triggered or read 
either by internal table or from the field symbols okay so that is a pro proper way it's not updating from field symbols to body of an internal table same way read table also you have a, a statement called assigning so assign keyword called assigning so you can use the assigning for the field symbols so on the flow you can use the declaration over here because we are in a new syntax of a map okay and uh, what else dumps it's not like uh, field symbols. I have a field symbol. I'm going to read a field symbol and the field symbol is not assigned. It goes to dump. Partially correct. But actually, uh, the field symbols, uh, if I have a field symbol and field symbol is not declared using any type, it's just an open, so a kind of open uh, field symbols. If that is the case, Without assigning, I want to read it. Yes, you can do it because it's not pointed to anything. It's just open. Okay. In that case, it's not goes to dump. Okay. Whenever there is a field symbol, it is declared with the help of a type keyword, maybe a type character, type VBAK, type any table, kind of. Okay. If that is the case, here very clearly, field symbol is pointing to a type. Now I'm trying to read uh, or access a field symbol without assigning. Yes, definitely it goes to dump. So make sure I will show an example how uh, the dump is happening. The same write statement, one scenario it's not happening, another scenario it's happening, field symbol not at assigned. Okay. So just uh, make yourself little clear, little clear on when exactly the dump is happening for a field symbols. So this is the way I have a field symbol. It doesn't point to anything, just field symbol and field symbol name. If I say write FS material, it won't display anything. But again, it, it never goes to dump without any assignment statement. Now, I have a source assigned to my field symbol and there is no assigned statement. I'm trying to read it. Yes, definitely it goes to dump. Okay. Then uh, the actual need of field symbol is uh, how to get the dynamic value. So I, I'm not sure what is the field is going to come in this particular line of my program. That is a depends on the scenario, depends on the um, business need. I have to populate the fields dynamically, not data, fields dynamically. So I have five fields. Sometimes it may become one, two, three, four, five, the order. Sometimes it may be five, four, three, two, one, three, four, five, two, one. Depends on the uh, design. Any uh, field names should come at the time. At the particular line then based on that i need to read the value of it so this is that for that definitely we need a simple symbol so syntax to do that is assign component and runtime component and the runtime only you, you're going to decide right what is a field name that field name to be carried out in this particular variable it could be a variable not an issue or uh, you never Normally, we never, never go with the hard-coded one because it's a runtime and dynamically we have to change. So that field is going to be over here. Of structure where the exact uh, content available means uh, simply I can say body of an internal table. Okay, because from there we are going to read the value. Okay, so but that particular source is going to be here. Okay, data medium which holds the value of this field and then to this is a, a common or it's going to be a, another uh, generic field symbol where it receives the value for this field from this particular data medium get the value suppose if it is a matner get the matner value if it is a, a sales order number get the sales order number okay so that way it needs to be uh, right in a particular line of your code so this is a way to access anything dynamically with the help of field symbols okay and then uh, unassign so if you feel okay let me unassign proper way of using a field symbol same field symbol for different data medium is better unassign the uh, assignments uh, from your variable to your field symbols or data medium to a field symbol so use a con use a keyword called unassign unassign field symbol automatically it removes the assigned part of between the data medium and your field symbol okay then uh, data reference so data reference is normally pointing to a data medium it could be anything okay so once it is point then automatically whenever you you just do a change it's reflex or it it will read the re, recent value from the particular data reference variable so the syntax would be uh, there are two lines of syntax uh, one is data reference variable any name you can give type ref2 
okay so type ref to data is again one of the uh, predefined sap data type is called data and then uh, so here what happens after the first line same like a field symbols field symbols uh, just a name there is no type on that okay so in that way it's going to be and it's going to be a class based one and if you if you see after this line in the debugging mode you can see you can see the curly braces and it's a initial is not assigned anything on it and then create data same reference variable type source source could be any data medium character work area body of internal table then it it's then it make the itself ready to hold the particular value from any data medium okay so this is a way you have to declare your data reference variable another way is did i mention yes another way is the first line itself you mention the source okay so like data reference variable type ref to source directly if that is the case in create data you mention very clearly create data whatever you want you can do it okay so but normally we go with the first option because the first option is it's a wide open it's ready to accept the source but if you go with the second option you restricted the data reference with the particular source if it is only integer then you can't able to assign a character for it okay but depends on your need you can play around whether you want the first way of declaration or the second way of declaration it's up to you and then uh, reference variable so after this one after the source or after this line uh, these two are belongs to one way and these two are belongs to one way okay so after you mention the source of your reference variable is going to be point out the content of your uh, data medium could be a character it's c is nothing but character i prefer a variable work area or internal table okay now i want to show you a few things so it's, it's from my understanding i want to explain here after this uh, assignment happens create data the type source actually happens it's look like this reference variable is going to hold the data medium content value of the variable after the reference happens is going to hold uh, data content of your uh, data medium or a variable but if you just check about the field symbol field symbol is going to communicate with your uh, content of your variable it's not going to hold anything okay in the field symbol level but data reference data reference itself is going to hold the value of your data medium okay and this is for the field symbol it's not going to hold anything okay it's going to hold it's not going to hold anything from your data medium it's just pointing it's communicating with your uh, content of your data medium only okay now the question is okay i want to change because at the end we need to change the data medium whether it's a field symbol or a data reference i need a facility to change the data medium means data content of a data medium so now the question is how to change this portion forget about data reference i want to change this portion it's not the direct approach like field symbols so if you want to change the value of uh, a field symbol simply say field symbol equal to what is the value field symbol if and field name equal to what is the value but it's a very direct approach but data reference is is not a direct approach so directly you are not able to assign a value to the data reference variable because data reference look like layer one inside i have a layer which has the content of your variable so i want to touch this first okay i want to uh, i can say uh, okay technically we come to the technical part i want to dereference a data reference variable to access the content of your data variable okay you might have aware of the uh, term called dereference or this symbol so i want to access i want to give a permission not access i want to give a permission okay okay i'm just means data reference saying i mean data reference data reference decided okay this particular field symbol is able to access the content of my data reference variable then this data reference to be dereferenced okay so dereference is nothing but arrow star so if you say dereference the data variable name and this symbol to a field symbol then field symbol has a option or i can say permission to just communicate with the content of your data reference variable okay so this is the syntax assign your reference variable name arrow mark star and fs then fs has full access of your 
data content then you can say read write delete whatever you want you can play around with that okay so very basic one is if you have a reference variable you need a field symbol to update the content of your reference variable you cannot access the data you cannot manipulate the data of your reference variable directly this is also possible like you can say i have a field symbol i'm going to give field symbol assignment operator reference variable yes syntactically it correct but what happens after that we are giving the property means you are creating a reference variable same like reference variable to the field symbol okay you are not dereferencing again you are referencing referencing it to the another field symbol only okay so this is valid but it's not valid to access the data of your reference variable so is bound is bound as for data reference variable normally in field symbols we use a keyword called is assigned make sure the assignment happens perfectly same way if you want to check then you have to use is bound syntax or keyword for the data reference variable okay with the help of if condition so both are uh, just try to avoid a short dump uh, in the runtime period okay then uh, that's it let me um, take you to the documentation of field symbols and data reference from the SAP perspective. Then we'll get into the system. So this is a documentation from SAP and it's available in help.sap.com and uh, about the field symbols. So both field symbol and data reference allow you to access the data objects dynamically. So it's like runtime, the particular data medium is going to be they mentioned data objects so data objects or data excuse me medium to be recognized then we can make use of this field symbols and data reference concept and uh, same thing until runtime same thing they explain a little uh, with the help of some statements over here and about the field symbols they call it as value semantics and whenever you address a field symbol like you can read or access a field symbol the system works with the contents of the data object. So it could be anything, your variable. For example, over here we can say as a variable. So it's going to be content of the variable assigned to it. Okay, not within the content of the field symbol itself because field symbol doesn't have a capability of holding the content on itself. Okay, so that is the reason they mention over here. And data reference or pointers to the data object. It's going to be point or data object. Uh, an example like we can take as a variable. It can be a work area or an internal table. Okay, it's pointed to a variable. And uh, data reference or uses as a reference semantics. So field symbol is value. Here is going to be a reference semantics. And data reference or contents of data reference variable. So the the smaller box i mentioned right it's got nothing but a data references okay so it's it's going to be nothing but a content of your data reference variable okay and when you access a reference variable the, where the content are stored so you're addressing the data reference itself okay so directly you are trying to access the data reference so to access the contents of a data object what you have to do is if you access directly the data reference you are not able to deal or communicate with the data reference right like if you access the data reference variable this one and if data reference variable you are not able to access the content of it so if you want to access the content of your data reference variable what you have to do is you must dereference it so dereference it and that needs to be go to a field symbol then now field symbol is going to help to access the data of your data reference variable okay clear so that is the reason just have a uh, detailed explanation from the product and uh, documentation and you have some examples over here the same way <coughs> you have some examples for data reference as well okay just play around um, it will be very easy and maybe one or two uh, sample programs is very easy for you to understand what is field symbol what is data reference and which category you want to use it in your own developments okay that's it about the explanation then we'll get into the system now my system let's do for field symbols so field symbols i go with fs okay um then i have three variables a type character 10 or area so three different uh, data mediums i can say 
and it mara type table of okay now i'm going to assign this to oh field symbol assign the data medium variable to a field symbol and assign work area to a field symbol and assign body of an internal table to a field symbol so field symbol is open to accept any structure at runtime act toward it <coughs> We have a breakpoint. Execute. So here, let me have all the data medium variable. I should have a value. That's fine. Now field symbols. <coughs> if you noticed, normally if you double click a field symbol, you will get an error in the debugging mode. Field symbol is not at assigned, but here I didn't because. It's not pointed to any source now. It's empty. Okay. So it doesn't have anything now. So if I press F5, that is the reason I didn't get that field symbol uh, issue. I, I will I will tell you more about this. And if I say A to FS, press F5. Now the value, okay, it doesn't have value. Okay, just double click. Now it's character 10. Okay. And if I assign to the <coughs> same, excuse me, same field symbol, I'm assigning the work area. Yes, it's ready to accept it. Now it shows it's accepted a structure. Okay. And it's the structure of VBAK. Okay. And if you assign a body of an internal table to the same field symbol, yes, it's ready to accept it. So dynamically, field symbol is capable of holding any type of data content. It could be a one or a record or records. Okay. So that is the beauty of field symbols. Now, along with the value it actually holds. So now what I can do is let me execute it. Yeah. If I say character 10 value check. Okay. And I can say select single star from VBAK into that's okay I mean okay it recognizes the old way of writing code so if I use at symbol I will get an error message select star from Mara into table IT Mara that's an error okay back to order <coughs> Yes, executed. Okay, so here now I'll go with only FS field symbols. Yep. If I the value is check and if I go with if I now the value of field symbol is depends on the structure. Yes, it has a value. And if I go with the other statements, now it has 17,000 plus records. Okay, so that is the way it the field symbol reflects. So now you can make use of the field symbols whenever you need or you want. Now, few things about field symbols. Let's go to dump first. Okay. Now, I'm saying write field symbol before assignment statement let me command this okay the expectation is before assignment field symbol yes it goes to dump but now it won't go to dump execute oh that's uh, debugging okay let's wait let me execute it <coughs> excuse me so it's executing properly without a dump okay so when actually we need a dump, whenever the field symbol is pointed to a source, okay. So if I'm saying character 10, okay. Now back to it, <coughs> excuse me. And execute. Let's go with the debugging because now I'm going to double click the field symbol. Then 
we will get a message saying that field symbol is not at assigned in the debugging mode and if further execute it will goes to dump okay now double click so now you'll get a message field symbol is not at assigned okay because we mentioned clearly there is a type related to this field symbol so that is the reason if you ready if you double click it shows field symbol not at assigned and if you execute it it'll get a dump so if it is a generic field symbol which is not declared with any type then it won't cause any short dumps even though if you're going to write without an assignment statement but if it is assigned yes then field symbol goes to dump okay now let's go to the next one go back so next one is like um, if condition to avoid the dump we can do like this so if field symbol is assigned then do it okay maybe for our reference let me have a l spot Word it okay and take out this breakpoint and execute so f is not assigned okay so another way is okay not another way the next one is okay loop and assign the field symbols okay so let's take this part and it's assigned okay so now i'm going to write the loop at it mara assigning field symbol so on the flow you can declare it fs mara okay and to avoid a modify statement we use uh, normally with the condition we used it but here i just go with the open condition net view I equal to 100 i'm just updating it okay and delete also we normally use some indicator to make sure these records to be deleted so either you can say matnr or some any field you can choose any field you can say x so after the loop we are going to use a statement called uh, delete uh, internal table where the particular field has the value x matnr equal to x so this way you normally we use or we can the same thing it's it depends on how you want so both seems to be good and matn okay so if that is the case you have to use delete it mara where matnr is initial so both works okay so to avoid a delete you normally we use the mark indication of any field and the modification if you want directly you can modify it so every loop is going to be again i'm saying it's not update your body of an internal table both medium this is one data medium this is one data medium both are pointing to the same record so whenever there is an update happens automatically reflects in the particular place and if this data medium is reading automatically it reads the recent value from the particular data medium wherever it stores okay from the particular data so that is the way it works okay let me check this mm, got an error so f is incompatible yeah because i changed the type of fs type character 10 so it's not going to happen here that's it and what else let me check anything else ntr does not have a component okay ntgw i believe ntgdw is it correct nope okay but there is a field called ntgw okay Yeah, good enough back toward it and uh, you might have seen this let me do it in the debugging mode yeah, right okay so here if 
field symbol, let's say the field symbol is not assigned. Fine. Now, yes, because it's actually declared based on the source. So that, that is the reason if you double click, it will get an error. And if you double click this, you're able to see the values. It's pointing to the same data content. And if you want, double click this also. It's actually zero. And press F5. Yes, it's updated. Okay. Again, I should not use the word updated. Okay, it just uh, changed the field symbol, the particular record value. Whenever this medium is going to read the same particular record, then you'll get a recent value from this data medium. Now it's a body of an internal table. Okay, and what is the material number here? And it's changed to X. Got it. Oh, next line, I have a clear statement. It's clear the value as well. Okay. Now, if it comes to the after the loop, what happens? All the material uh, is empty because I have the clear statement, open clear statement. So that is the reason it just get all the things clear. So my first delete statement fails because it doesn't have x. So it's a bar C4. And the next statement it just delete everything. Oh, it's went to the okay. I don't have any other executable statement. So that's it. It's delete entire data from the body of an internal table. So this is the way the field symbol works. Just play around with the field symbol, um, work area, body of internal table, whatever it is. Then it's actually very interesting and easy concepts. And once you're comfortable with that, you're able to apply this in your normal, very simple development also. Okay. And the other one, the field symbol is um, dynamic. Suppose before dynamic, one quick thing. Suppose if you want to use the body of an internal table directly to the select. Suppose here I want to use selects everything FS Mara. FS Mara is there. Uh, FS internal table Mara. So for that, what you have to do is real symbols FS IT Mara type any table then this assignment should come before your select statement it mara that's it so this is going to be filled with your uh, data from your database table to your field symbol directly okay so this is just one reference for you so dynamic one is uh, normally we used assign component kind of right. So we'll parameter will get the field name type. Uh, so here the field name is from input screen. Sometimes in the program itself we have to um, get the field names and we have to loop it and send it. Depends on the requirement. Anywhere you have to dynamically populate the field. Okay. So here I use the uh, user screen. Mm, let me go with Mara table itself. Okay, so loop, loop at Mara. So inside I want to display the values. So what I'm going to do is assign component. It's very simple. And uh, the dynamic field name is available here of structure. So the value is available in fs underscore. Here it's Mara and to the field symbol fs underscore value okay okay so here i mentioned write and the field symbol name check there is an error okay oh, i didn't declare it before so let me on the flow i'm declaring it so this is the dynamic field is it's going to be from the runtime I'm going to decide and this is the source where the value is available. So from this source is going to check whether any field with the same name is available in the source. If yes, that particular value is going to be captured in your field symbol. Okay. And suppose if there is a mistake, spelling mistake or the field is not available, obviously it goes to dump if you're going to use write statement. So before that you can use FS value is assigned or not initial whatever you want or simply you can write size of bar is equal to zero also you can go ahead with that okay and uh, yeah let me try that as well I will 
this one or you can say size suppose equal to zero act toward it then execute so here you can say m e t n r execute so all the material listed out okay so now i want uh, m t a r t execute so all the material types all the record material types are because i mentioned in the loop inside the loop okay it just uh, filtered out and only displayed those particular field values so this is a way we use the field symbol dynamically based on the dynamic populated values clear so that's it about field symbols i think we are good enough and we'll go to data ref program data reference program data reference executable <coughs> excuse me local object so simple two way of declaration the first declaration is data data ref type ref to data and then use a create data statement data ref and it should be a type if there is no type if you not mention what type it should be it's given error so we have to mention the type of it okay so you have to use type character done this is one way another way is data data ref to okay, data ref to type ref to uh, image nr okay in this you can mention create data data ref to okay execute and act over it Breakpoint. Okay, and execute. Let's see how it's reflecting in the debugging level. So here there are two data references, one and two. So both are initial now. Okay. So if I press F5, line number thirteen, and this is getting some additional uh, icons. Okay. So it's mentioned. Uh, this is actually what this one value right yeah value type and for a data reference you will get this arrow mark and uh, if you double click you are not able to see the content directly you might recollect the documentation they mentioned uh, data reference it data reference variable holds the data content of a variable right so that data content is going to be over here only on the referenced object just click and uh, this is the way it has to be when dereference it if you want to access it okay if you want to access the content data content of your reference variable you need to dereference it and this is going to be the value over here and the next one i'm going to press f5 and you can see data ref here also you have the value type and just click it's it's going to be empty and is a data element mat now okay and this is the way this is the place where is going to be update the values also so here you are not able to see the pencil uh, mark because if you you're not able to update over here directly because these are data reference variable you have to dereference it do uh, to do the changes okay i can do like this okay, let me dereference it let's see how it happens yes so here you are able to see okay this is it's the de dereferenced it okay but now yeah, if i go yeah change uh, material right matter one okay it's possible the same way you can do it always so dereference it then you are able to get a access to the area means data content area okay so now if we remove this okay just get into this and here this is the data place for the data kind in a debugging session i'm talking about okay so here it's updated the values got it so basic idea is you have a dereference if you want to access the data content of your data reference variable okay let's just move on and if you want to assign a value so i how can i assign a value of it so if you say write um data so i don't do anything i'm trying to i'm trying to access the value of the particular data reference variable 
So I'm getting an error. So what is the error? So it cannot be converted as a character type value. So if you just try to access the value of inside the data reference variable, you can't. Okay. Okay. Let me try this way. Okay. One more error. So you cannot dereference a generic reference in the current statement, right? Yes, in the current statement. So very clearly they mentioned if you want to access the content data content of your uh, reference variable, you need a field symbol of it. Okay. Okay. Let me do one thing. Uh, assign data reference. So I'm going to dereference it to a field symbol it may be declared or on the flow you can declare field symbol of uh, variable okay so now i can say fs variable equal to 100 then write fs variable okay activate it and execute it so you'll know what is the output on this. Okay, if I okay, this is data reference variable, and this is dereference variable. Like we are giving access to the field symbol is not a sign. Yes, because it's typed one. Okay, it has. Excuse me. This field symbol has access with the type for the data content of your data reference variable. So if I 100, it reflects everywhere. See, if you double click now, oh, sorry, <laughs> don't double click. If you click this option, referenced object, you are able to see the value of it. Okay. So field symbol is the place or uh, what do you call that one? The only way to access or communicate the data content of your data reference variable. Okay, and you will get an output. If it okay. So now the remaining are simple. So this is a data reference we used for uh, variable. Now we are going to use for work area. Type ref to data, and this is for df for area type vbak. And I need one for internal table. Uh, go with ekko type ref to data, and this is going to be a body of an internal table, right? So, what I have to do is ekko type table of ekko so otherwise we'll get a syntax error okay then uh, what happens okay next one is the assignments to be happened so we can do the assignments to the field symbols then only we are able to uh, communicate with the data so df work area dereference to a field symbol Yes, uh, what is this actually? VBAK. And another assignment statement for body of an internal table, IT, AKKO, dereference it to a field symbol, FS, AKKO. Um, okay, I think it should be a table. Let's see. Actward it. So, okay, check it. Yeah, it's good. Let's have the select statement. Select single star from VBAK into FS VBAK and then uh, select star from EKCO into table FS EKCO point yes and try to check it first mm. yeah it's not internal table because on the flow I declared it 
okay on the flow i declare the fs ekk o so it just need the content right the content of the data reference variable so that is the reason so if there is an internal table and you are directly using in a select statement so you have to do is you have to do the uh, field symbol declaration properly right any table that's a small correction and i don't want this to be i'm sorry ekk You can give any table and I don't want to declare here on the flow. I think this should solve the issue. Yes, syntactically correct. Act toward it. Excuse me. And execute. Okay, let me go one by one. These are done. F6, F6. Okay, so this is my work area, body of an internal table. Let's see one by one. So this is my reference variable, dereferenced it. This is my reference variable and fi. fi. And this is the field symbol to access the data. Yes. So, and then this is ekkvo. Uh, okay, first dereference variable. Okay, and then my reference variable, and then field symbol for that is fs e k k o. Okay, not the signed. Good. Come on. Yes. Now I'm going to assign a value for my work area. So once I assign this, automatically it reflects in the data reference content area. F8, yes. Field symbol, yes, there is a value. Now double click. Yes, there is a value. Then go here. Everything is same. There is a value. Okay. And the next one is select star and it's going to be a body of an internal table. So it's updated everywhere. Okay. Just click here. You're able to see the content of it. So dereference. Sorry, uh, data variable, reference variable, you have the place to store the content. To access the content only, we are using this dereference operator. And field symbol is the plays a major role to communicate the data content of your reference variable. Okay, that's it. And then, okay, the last one, dynamic. So dynamic is what I'm going to do was let me have a table. Okay, you can have anything field name or whatever it is. So here I go with the table name. Table name type character 10. And the data, data reference table name type ref, sorry, type ref to data. And here I'm going to use create data dft name type table of p underscore t name so dynamically i am populating i am just uh, getting the means uh, what do you call it? structure yeah. dynamically i am getting the structure of my reference variable okay so then it's very simple then i need to use a uh, field symbol fs simply go with table uh, type any table and then I need to assign this, dereference it. Then only you are able to access the content of your reference variable. So DFT name, dereference it to the, sorry, two is missing, to field symbol table. And select start from dynamic table name. Into table that field symbol. That's all. Do you have yes? Act toward it. Okay, I have a breakpoint and execute it. Oh, table name required. Mm, go with uh, M E A K T. <coughs> execute. So here, uh, 
yeah these are fine we have already gone through this okay i think i need to execute fully because i need to give the table name sorry i give an yep, yep because of the debugging take more time i just forgot about it okay now fs table is it's filled with the makt values okay so it's clear so this way we can able to make use of the data reference in a dynamic manner also so if you say what i can say eban i'm not sure there is any data on this and full execute because i have another breakpoint yes now table has the value of eban table okay so this is the way we can play around with reference variable and field symbols it's a very very good and very simple concept so just create one dummy program and maximum utilize the field symbols and the reference variable and it's very easy to understand okay so nothing tough on this so once you are done with this once you are done with two or three programs and very easy to um implement this in any of your complex developments okay and a very good part is after this you are able to understand the standard coding because you are able to see this part what is this amazon star sorry uh, arrow star very simple they are dereference dereferencing this variable to a field symbol then only you are able to access the content of this data reference variable so i hope this will help you a lot and uh, just play around if you have any doubt please let me know thank you so much for your time see you in the next video bye